We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Coastal News Home and Away podcast. This is our first look episode where we get our crystal balls. Who were? Who were? Uh, and we look at what's coming up on Home and Away in the UK next week. But before that, don't forget our main weekly podcast episode was uploaded on Saturday morning. That's where we discuss all the drama from last week in Summer Bay. But if you want some spoilers about what's coming up this week on the show, then you're in the right place. Because for right now, we're going to do a little sneaky peek ahead to the episodes that will be airing on Channel 5 and 5 Star this week. And as always, I'm joined by Sai. Hi, Sai. Yoo-hoo, all to me. Hello. Right. <laughs> Good, how are you? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it, was, it was very Colleen, I loved very it. Very Colleen, very Colleen. Yeah. I'm all good, are you? I'm good, yeah. Good weekend? Yeah. Yes, good, good, good. Good. Yes, how about you? Yes, lovely. I've had a bit of a chill, bit of a chilled weekend. I needed it. I'm feeling a bit run down. You know, like Christmas was just like a mad rush and then it was like straight back to work and straight back into things and then I was like oh like and then it's just feel like this month has been so long and I just needed a couple of days just to yeah just to sort of, yeah chill out and watch some crappy tv so it's yeah. been nice love it love it just what you need sometimes so sorry I've got a question for you oh yeah oh <laughs> because we for those that don't know we do a little game for our amusement only um where we try and guess the episode number of the next episode that we're going to watch which will be monday at 6 30 p.m on five star so have you got an episode number for me how i don't know we do, we do it every week how i never remember <laughs> right <laughs> let me think because okay, I, would, I did look i did look this number up <laughs> today okay Right, it's 8,100 mm-hmm. and 46. I can hear your brain. <laughs> I can actually sorry, hear it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's like my old, you know when you had an old PC and you used to make that. <laughs> I can hear that noise in the background. Okay, I'm going to put that. So 8146, I put that into a little calculator thing and it's thinking about it. Uh, oh, it's saying that's oh, no. wrong. It's, oh, I can't be you're, far wrong. You're very, very close. It's actually 8147. Oh, So you're only it. one away. So just, you know what, just neck that Prosecco anyway. Who cares? You yeah, win. I watch Channel 5, Pete. It's one app behind. <laughs> exactly. If you watch it at <laughs> 6 o'clock, you'd be spot on. <laughs> it's all fine. Mm, right. Mm. So, oh, well, that was close enough. It was, it's, I think, uh, do you know what, after, after our break as well for Christmas, I think I'm going to give you that Prosecco. So just, just go ahead. Just go ahead. Well done. Chin, um, chin. chin, chin. Let's find out what's happening then next week. So Monday at half past six on five star at, yeah, we're going to find yes. out what's going to happen. So it says, oh God, question. Will Irene go to prison? No. No, we don't, we don't believe, we don't believe it. We don't believe it. <laughs> no, no, we don't believe this. Uh, we think she's going to go for a bit of equine therapy. Yeah, she's going to she's going to be forced to speak to John for two hours a day. Yeah, she's going to be something silly. Uh, yeah, we don't really believe that she's in any peril, but um, we'll wait. We'll probably find out in the next. Day. <laughs> I might read it out by the end of first look what actually happens. But at the moment, if she we'll... does, we'll have to do like a free Deirdre podcast campaign. Oh, like... we'll have to do t-shirts and mugs. Like, yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah. get her out, get her out. Free Weenie. Yeah. Free the Summer Bay one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So it oh gosh, Leah is haunted from nightmares of her cult ordeal. Oh no, are we gonna see her in a dirty jumper? <laughs> <laughs> Just in. Just in. Just in. Climb um, up a ladder in a dirty jumper. Are we gonna see that, do you think? You have to get out the Justin uh, drinking game again. Um, oh, do you know what I would like to see? I would like to see some flashbacks of the bits that, that we didn't see on screen. Do you know, she's saying nightmares of a cool ordeal. Well, the, the bit that we saw was just them trapped, wasn't it? We, and we've heard 
the story that they got stopped was it at the roadside like they'd, some car mm. had broken down and they got flagged mm. and obviously just in the, as the mechanic jumped out to help them and then yeah. they got bundled into a van or whatever i'd like yeah, to see that in a in a dreamy flashback i'd like to see what actually happened fill the blanks in yeah i'd love to see that how they got to the to the warehouse in. yeah 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 Ooh, mm. okay so what do you think that. Yeah, I would like to see that too. Now you've said it, I hadn't thought about it, but yeah, I'd like to see. It. But I was gonna say, I knew this wasn't over for mm. them, and mm. I think it's important we see it because too, far too often Leah springs back into action. And yes, she needs she needs a few lasting effects. <laughs> so <laughs> I want her to suffer, but mm. just give us a good story. Yes. And not being funny, but the woman's been kidnapped so many times. Like she was kidnapped and then almost forced into a marriage that she didn't want by that weirdo that was stalking her. Do you that remember ages so ago? Long. Yeah, in the wedding dress. Listen, yeah. you wouldn't leave the house, would you? <laughs> you just, why have they not moved house? The cult knows where they live. That's the first thing I'd have done. I'd have put that house on the market and been like, no, we'll move it. We'll go to Yabby Creek or like Mangrove River or something. Swap with John. Yeah. Yes, at least move over the road. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, okay. And then we've got a question. Is Rue playing with fire? Hope so. Get burned. Get burned, Rue. Go on. Jump in the fire. Sorry. That's all about. I don't know. Is Rue playing with fire? Assuming it's metaphorical fire. Unfortunately, I think it probably is. It's not actually going to be. <laughs> <laughs> She's not trying to light the barbie. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The next line. Alf uncovers Rue's plotting. So this is the fire. Ru what is Rue plotting? Have I lost the plot? What, yeah. what was the last time you saw Rue? Also, Alf, has he not gone now? Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be... Yeah. Because, no, Martha had the miraculous flu recovery the next day. Renal oh, failure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Alf is plotted. Yeah. Alf uncovers Rue's plotting. She's playing with fire, but Alf, you know. Hmm. When was the last time we saw Rue? Was it was it the surf club presentation for Mr. Stewart? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's happened to her since that I can think of. No. Weird. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Hmm. I'll keep reading, see if we can get any more more clues. Justin surprises Leah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think what that means. Good Unless it's a yeah. Engagement ring? He's not put any underwear on. I don't know. Oh, commando! <laughs> I don't think that would be a surprise. I think, I think that would be standard, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, he just strike me as that kind of fella. <laughs> yeah, we, I think he's the kind of guy that gets out of the shower and does the little dance, you know, and the choo choo. Windmill. <laughs> the windmill. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill, yes. Why can I see that in my head? Get out of my head, get out of my head. Um, damn it, I'm getting a bit hot. Um, oh my I, god. I think it's mm. I think I think it's an, an engagement ring, maybe. Like because oh. she proposed, didn't she? But oh, I, yeah. I I don't think he'd be happy with just her proposing and him say yes. Yeah. I think he would have to make it like a yeah. down and one knee romantic gesture. He's that kind of guy, isn't he? He's a romantic Pos kind of Yeah, posthumous diamond diamond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Posthumous, hopefully not. <laughs> dead, dead diamond hand. Um, yep. Ro yep. Rose, oh my gosh, <laughs> this has gone out the left field as well. Rose worries for a friend. Oh, unless this is Irene. Oh, okay. So yesterday we had Will Irene go to prison, and now we've got Rose worries for a friend. I don't know who else Rose is friends with that she could be worrying about it right now, but I'm thinking Rini. Are you? Yeah, was she in the slammer? I don't know. Mm. Okay, I don't think Rose's got any friends. I know, I was trying to think, who's, who's Rose's friend? <laughs> Her brother? Yeah. Kirby at Bush. Oh yeah, Kirby, but I can't think of anything that Kirby's going through, unless it's the contract stuff again. I don't know. We best not think about anything Kirby's going through, to be honest. Yeah. Good point, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next day, then, 24 hours later, Leah placates Justin with a lie. <gasps> so if he has proposed, if that was the surprise, then she said yes. 
because placates to me I don't know about you but that word to me means like you know when someone's kicking off like say a toddler says like oh I'm really angry and starts to cry and you go oh um if you're good then you can have a treat later no mm. that, that kind of like you're trying to when you placate someone you're trying to avoid yeah. a, a situation aren't you or yeah but is it so that suggests to me something to do with the flashbacks oh okay um what we're assuming we, we, don't, we don't know is a proposal we, we've just run with that haven't we I've, but, I've assumed in my head now that it's a it's a public proposal and instead of her saying no in front of the whole world she's gone yeah um okay and then afterwards she's not too keen on it yeah is there a bit know. of an issue because you know obviously in the hospital as well he said you know i won't order to it and then she went in a mood so i wonder if it's an, yeah. overspill, an overspill from from that yeah yeah i mean there's question marks over their engagement anyway because of the fact that she was so anti getting engaged or getting married again in future yeah we've got a tenacity on our hands here oh yeah i I think this is going to be a rocky road i think i don't know but i feel like it's not going to be a smooth engagement let's put it that way just eat a rocky road (laughs) oh no right i'm hungry (laughs) (laughs) need some pudding uh brie worries for leah's welfare oh no there is something going on with leah yeah she's it's these flashbacks isn't it yeah the pt where's dr logan ptsd I know that would have been diagnosed last week. That it would she'd be on her first counselling session on on a horse doing equine therapy by now. <laughs> 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 get, on Leah, my, get on that horse. I do miss Logan. I know that character was was such a good character. Actually, we did like him from the beginning, didn't we? As well. I, I mean, he dropped in out of a helicopter. I, mean, I know. I mean, literally, what a, what an opening scene for a character. Yeah. Um, easy on the eye as well yeah i know that didn't didn't harm it did it really <laughs> uh oh, i don't want to read this line but i'll do it quickly lyric play their first gig back at salt and oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. blah 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 right tane <laughs> oh god are you ready tane oh. breaks felicity's heart all over again oh dear we're done again we're done we're done, done. yeah How many, can you skin a cat yeah <laughs> And then we're, we're back to, unfortunately, Lyric again. So Remy extends an invitation to Brie. I don't know if this is related to the first gig back at Salt. I mean, why wouldn't you invite your other half to your first gig back at Salt? But and maybe it's something else. Remy extends an invitation to Brie. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Do you care? Uh, no, there's something about her moving out, maybe moving in or something. She ah. Moved, she moved oh. back to the apartment, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, so maybe it's not band related. OK, fair enough. Oh no! Right to end the week, then we've got a couple of lines left. So Felicity and Mackenzie go head to head. This can't oh, not be good. Publicly. Not publicly, I hope. This can't they run be the, good. They, well, they're at Loggerheads, aren't they? And they run the they run the restaurant together. I know it's, it's going to be such a shame. And uh, oh, I don't know how I feel, but if Flick and Tane break up, and then Flick and Mac also mm-hmm. part oh, ways. And- and uh, do you know, I really love it when we have good friendships on this show. I know. Um, because we have so much of like re- a coupling all the time. When there's a friendship, I really do cherish it. Yeah. I'll be really annoyed if yeah. this results in a loss of a friendship. It's, it's so sad because Flit's going to end up with no one, isn't she? Yeah, that, yeah well, that's true. Yeah. And it's just you perpetuating know, with, that whole everyone yeah, thinks that she just needs to change her mind thing like that she's yeah. just wrong and she just needs to have a baby and i'm just so annoyed about it she needs a big hug from gary oh gary yeah she needs to go away and have some equine therapy at gary's house i think <laughs> oh okay i think i know what the invitation to brie was because the next line says brie meets remy's parents now, I said to you ages ago, I want to see Remy's parents because we keep hearing things about them, about them being accomplished musicians. Gonna they had that loaded. Yeah. yeah, they had that really big house. Mm-hmm. So they, you know, when um, Eden and Remy, we didn't really cover it on the podcast because we weren't doing lyric, but Eden and Remy ran off to that big house, didn't they? And they were doing like a songwriting mm-hmm. thing, which ended up being a tequila session that didn't get very far. 
but it was a big house but it wasn't their permanent home it was like their summer house or something wasn't it their holiday house and I was like as if that's your holiday house <laughs> that was <laughs> that's bigger than my house <laughs> yeah. yeah so I kind of want to see Remy's parents because I think I think he's a spoiled little mama's yeah, boy that could be interesting as well also mm. The, the band are at a bit of a crossroads. They've got no money to record a new album. Will yeah. they control the band? Yes. Why are they coming in? Is it can't be just to meet Brie? Or is it because Brie and Remy are getting very serious now and it's getting to the point where maybe Remy is like, she's the one? Brie wants to try being on screen once in a while for me to be that. I know. And not just as a doctor. Yeah. I forgot she exists, you know. And then I go, she doesn't oh, have a life now. That's that the problem. Woman. She doesn't have a life now. You know, when she first came into it, she her storyline was about Jacob, about her husband and everything else, and Love. that horrible situation. But it gave us that really juicy affair, mm. essentially. Let's call it an affair mm. with Remy, mm. which was really exciting to watch. And that the chemistry was really good. The chemistry is not as good right now, is it? Since I'm not being funny, but the affair chemistry was hotter. Was we it? never see her. No, we don't see her. But now she's got no, she's got no life. I know. She goes to work. We only see her going to work, like yeah, or being or shouted at, at by work. Remy. Yeah, yeah. Um, or like you know, when someone needs resources, on it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, like yeah. literally, like we had Christmas, and then she was on screen the other week, and I was like, oh my god, there's that woman. Yeah, the she's, blonde doctor's she's, back. Yeah she's cast as well it's um, awful because she's yeah. either she's either sorting out someone's like kidneys or she's getting shouted at by her boyfriend because her boyfriend's in a mood because his band oh my band's not a band anymore or whatever or my band might be a band again but i'm still angry about it she just gets like shouted at by her boyfriend and she doesn't have yeah any story like, like what are her what's her storyline on her well, own apart, she, apart from she, the old she, surfing thing yeah, and the therapy thing. She was going through counselling, wasn't she? There was that. Yeah, that no, was but... ages ago now. Yeah. Mm. She needs a storyline of her own that's just her, not a man, not a job. Maybe this is it. Maybe she runs off with Remy's dad. <gasps> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm here for that. Okay. And the last line of the week is mm. Eden supports cash. Even supports cash so is this a, oh, this could be anything couldn't it because it could be a career thing because you know cash is suspended right now yeah and we haven't mentioned irene actually since monday because the, the last time no there's been nothing about her apart from irene possibly goes to prison which was monday she's not been mentioned at all probably on purpose to not give a spoiler away i'm guessing mm. so could it be because because irene's been found whatever i mean she's obviously guilty because she's pleaded guilty but maybe she's been given a harsh sentence or maybe she hasn't maybe that's got consequences for cash and his reinstatement as a police officer yeah you know if she's been if the whole book's been thrown at her then i imagine there's there's got to be consequences for cash off the back of that hasn't there because he was involved yeah but not criminal for some reason no, not criminal, but he has definitely been suspended. And I don't know whether we know how long. And maybe that's pending the outcome of the Dana and Irene stuff. Like, how much do we punish cash? It might be dependent on how much do we punish Irene. I don't know. If it was work, I'm struggling to link Eden to backing him up. Yeah. So it's got to be Flick, hasn't it? Um. Yeah, whether he's... <laughs> I wonder if he's taken a stance and she's thinking, I'm mm. going to him. I wonder if she's, I wonder if he's sort of sticking with his sister and she sort of feels like she needs to back him up. I feel like she needs to back her mate up. I feel like it should be saying yeah. Eden supports Flick. I feel like there's and a that, Yeah, I agree. And that obviously then means my theory of Eden being the one that unlocks the dialogue is mm. out the window. Possibly. It's very cryptic, isn't it? It's mm, yeah. dif difficult to work it out. I think we're in for another good week, though, by the sounds of it, really. 
Thank you for listening. We will be back with more episode discussion from Summer Bay soon. Until then, join the discussion online at Coastal News Pod.